So welcome to the TKC Smile Design Series. So this is a case of showing you a replacement of old porcelain veneer. So we do a lot of these cases um, and patients come in to see us and say we want to have our veneers changed for whatever reasons and I'm going to showcase how we do it. Now one of the things we use on all of our replacement porcelain veneer case, cases are water lays. So this is probably the best thing that I've would be used in the last 10 years, I would say. Someone asks, what's the thing you hate doing the most when it comes to replacing someone's work? It, the, the answer would, for me would be taking off old veneers because taking off old veneers can take you hours. If you, if you do not want to touch the patient's uh, tooth underneath, it will take forever because removing ceramic is very difficult because it's hard, very hard to distinguish when it's ceramic when it's tooth. So before I had the laser, these were always a case that I wouldn't really enjoy doing because taking them off is very stressful and it takes a long time. But since having the laser, it's a dream. So the, the laser literally pops the veneers off. You should put the laser, the water laser onto the veneer and it suddenly just pings off. And that is amazing because then you're just left with the tooth underneath and the cement, which is easy to remove. So this is a case that came in to see me some time ago. I think this was last year, actually. Um, she came in with these veneers. So she's had like 12 veneers done. They've been in there for 10 years. This lady's uh, pretty well known in the um, industry, in terms of uh, beauty industry. So she's well known. So she doesn't want to show her face, which is understandable. And basically, I don't, and these, these are the old ceramics. So as soon as I saw these, I'm like, who did those? Because they just look like piano keys is the term that they use. So it just looks terrible. There's no texture. The teeth look like rectangles. And I mean, I was <laughs> mortified that the person, you know, walk around for 10 years with these type of veneers. So she said to me, look, I really want to improve them. I really don't know how they look. And I said, okay, fine. So we kind of had a long discussion as to what we can do. Um, she maintains that she wants them to be this long. Now I said, I think they need a bit, to be a bit shorter. But she said, no, I, I'm used to this. And this is one of the issues is if someone's used to something long and you make them short, they'll hate it. Normally we're actually lengthening the teeth in, in a smile design. In most of my cases, we're lengthening teeth and it's a, I always tell my clients before, you're not going to like it when I first put them on, but you need time to get used to it. But in this case, it's the other way around. So I'm like, these are too long. We should really shorten them, but she was not interested. So we said, okay, fine. To make them look natural, but at this length, it's going to take a lot of skill. So that's why we went for spastic veneers. And she said, look, for now, I just want the front six down. I don't want all of them down. I said, no problem. Wants to keep the similar sort of color but obviously not have the piano keys, which is monolithic blocky type porcelain. So we said, fine, we'll do them graduated color, but keep it quite bright. So was a, this is the end result. So you can see, we said, I'm very proud of this case because it's come out so nice, but it was very challenging because look how long these teeth are. They're very long and um, the patient insisted on keeping that length. Whereas, you know, if it was if ideally, I would like them to finish around here, around here because that, that is what I want to see in a smile. I don't want to see this much tooth structure. But the patient was insisting that this is the design she wanted, she wanted that length. So we managed to put lots of translucency and loads of texture, keeping that, and it doesn't look that long now. And you can see the porcelain looks really nice. Now she's ecstatic with this because they, you know, com compared to this is what she had before and this is what she has now, it's, uh, it's game changing. Now, of course, we'd love to change that veneer, which is one of the old ones, and that is one of the old ones. But at this point, she has not decided to do that for maybe financial reasons or, um, I think, in an ideal world, I'd love to change those. Um, but you can see here the smile design, it's nice, albeit slightly long, but taking these veneers off was a dream because what we did was we just used the laser and it, they were pinned off. So it was brilliant, absolutely brilliant. And then this is a close-up shot of the case. So you can see here, these are the piano keys type teeth. Really not attractive. And not even that, if you look here, this tooth is bigger than that one. You know, the width of this tooth is bigger. So 
I don't know who did this file design here, but that's like, you know, that is really bad. Um, so we managed to get them identical, loads of texture. You can see the margins are beautiful. The gum lines are really nice. Um, and like I said, we, we managed to replace all of these, these six veneers without having to change much. And these are the side view shots. Again, these ceramics would love to change at some point. But I think the key is here, even though the teeth are very long, we managed to keep them looking really good and really natural just by um, putting lots of texture in, lots of translucency in, and adding lots of detail. So that's what we have on the other side as well. So it's a really nice case.